Ja, det var fan. Uh, we win against Edmonton, så... So. Ja, det var väldigt fan till dig. Ja, det var nice too, så... Ja, det var fan. Jag har inte skått så mycket so much this year, så... So, Yeah, that was a really good pass. So it was really easy for me and put the puck in the net. So much talk about McDavid and Matthews before the game, and you and Bobby are the ones that throw that. What do you think about that? <laughs> I don't know, but um, that's fun for Bobby too. So he scored. He's played really good now, right now, so that's fun for him too. How concerned are you for uh, Ilya Samsonov right now? Oh, I don't know. I don't know yet. So what allowed you guys to build a five nothing lead early in the hockey? Um, that's good to lead with the five goals, but I don't know. Uh, they have really good power play, so they scored too. What did it feel like in the third period? They were really pushing. You guys couldn't. This game a keep away, really, at times. Yeah, uh, they have a good power play, so they scored too, and they have they get a really much energy there. So, yeah, yeah, we win, so that's good. What's it like going up against McDavid? Mm, yeah, that's fun. Uh, he's a really good player, so he's tough. He's, he's skated really hard, and so, yeah. What do you like about Jake McCabe and how he defends? <laughs> yeah, he's really good. Uh, he's so strong, so it's fun to see. Uh, that was pretty sweet. Um, playing against the uh, Edmonton, watching him growing up, um, and the quality of team that that is, um, it was a special one for us to win. And how did it feel for you to score two goals tonight? Uh, it's cool. Uh, it's nice playing with those guys. A couple of great feeds from both of them. Um, just left me wide open in front and was able to hit the back of the net, which is cool. What do you like you about the group? group? Sorry, Mark. What do you like about the group's effort in the first two periods that allowed you guys to build the five? Yeah, I think we came up with an attitude that we know we're a better team and we want to dictate the play from the start. And I think we did that and i um, proud of us for that. And yeah, they have some skilled players and they push back a little bit, but we uh, we took it to them enough that it didn't matter. What was the matchup like against McDavid in that line for you? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was good. cool. I mean, it was good. Um, he's a good player, but I think we, we did a good job of staying on top of him, frustrating him, and uh, not giving the puck too much. Yeah, I think uh, I think everybody just took it upon themselves to, to be a part in in stopping that him and stopping that line. Uh, I think that was that was a big point for us, and they, they put uh, drive settle on that line too. And I think that was a um, indication for us that that's a that's a focus, and we want to take it to him. Uh, your your stomach kind of drops. Um, you know he's selling out for every shot, and you don't want to see that happen. So. I really hope it's it's something minor or um, just a tweak or something because I, I, I want to see him back and he's he's great for us back there. So, so much talk about McDavid and Matthews coming into this game. You and Pontus are the ones that get the headline. What, is, what does that feel like? Uh, it's, it's it's great. I mean, it's a, but it's a team effort. I think uh, a lot of guys contributed to that. There's a there's a reason we get opportunities. Odd man rushes, um, plays around the net. It's because guys around us are working hard and. Um, I think our D were great today. They were really solid, moving pucks up, keeping things moving, and I think that's a big credit to yeah, Alberta, Alberta kid. You know, a lot of Oilers fans are buddies, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. What do you expect to see on your phone? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sure some guys. Uh, I hope they're happy for me and uh, not too worried about the, the Oilers losing that one. Um, but we'll see. What do you think of your second goal, the shot? I know Sheldon's been saying he, he thinks you could shoot even more. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what a feed by Willie. Drew everybody in. He thought everybody in the building thought he was shooting that one. Um, fed me back door, and I just kind of. Try to get it in that um, top right corner. Didn't really look at it too much. Just kind of sense where the net was. What about the first one? Uh, I think Johnny. We almost locked eyes there. He's uh, he looked over his shoulder. He's got vision all over the ice and was able to make a great pass. And I just kind of tapped it in. Physical game tonight. How about that played right up your alley? How much fun was that for you guys to, to play in that game tonight? Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, I thought our group was engaged right off the bat. Um, Eddie, I feel like set the tone for us, and um, you know, we all kind of carried it through. All 20 guys in the lineup tonight, and. <clears throat> just intense and urgent, and uh, the urgency was high. It was uh, just a really uh, good effort. Was that the focus coming in, Jake, to really set the tone yourselves rather than sitting and reacting to what the Oilers do? Yeah, I think obviously they're a team that thrives on time and space, and um, when you try to take that away from them and uh, try to frustrate them, I think that's what we did really well in the first couple periods and um, took advantage when we when we got our looks, we buried and uh, put them on their heels and just kind of kept uh, kept moving. Penalty kill was uh, was big for us early in the game as well. That push in the third was big by them. How did you guys withstand it? Yeah, I thought it was a little scrambly for us um, at the start, uh, that first power play, and then there um, at the end a little scrambly too. But at the end of the end of the day, we got uh, got the job done, got the empty netter, sealed the deal, and now we move on to Carolina. Sam,
Yeah, it's important. Um, that's part of my job on this team is to you know set that physical tone, and uh, I think we all you know feed off it, and I feed off of other guys doing it as well. And frankly, we play at our best when when we're playing physical, we're playing fast like that. It just it keeps everyone engaged and you know uh, on our front foot. So when you see Ilya go down like this over your mind? Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, three minutes left in the game. It's it's tough. Hopefully, uh, it's nothing too serious. I, it's uh, it's shitty, obviously, but. Um, hopefully it's not too serious. So much talk about McDavid and Matthews coming in, Bobby and Pontus really step up. You can say both the depth guys in this game for you. Yeah, we talked about it um, the start of the start of the night. Um, you know, they loaded up their first line, and uh, we just said, you know, we want our depth to to carry us through and show that we have better depth, which um, ended up being the difference. What did you like about the job the group did against that line tonight? Yeah, you know, they're they're going to get their looks right. Um, I thought we. Uh, me and Mo were, were matched up with them most of the night. I thought we had good sticks. We communicated real well, and um, you know we exited pretty clean uh, when they did have extended ozone time. I didn't feel like they had too many great A's in the slot, and um, like I said, they're going to get their looks, but you just try to limit those as, uh, as best you can. Yeah, it's been it's been great the last couple of games. Uh, he obviously is a. An elite puck mover. Uh, we've been talking a ton, and I think that's been carrying us through. We kind of feed off each other's legs, and um, it's been going good. You mentioned Edmonton in your first answer. Just what did you miss since he's come to the team? Yeah, obviously, just uh, a big body on the back end that likes to throw it around, and um, it's contagious, like I've been talking about. Um, guys playing like that is contagious. People feed off it, and Eddie, obviously, is, like I said, he set the tone for us tonight. And penalty kill, he was great. Um, around our net, he was great, and just you know throughout the throughout the night, just a calming and steady presence for us. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, uh, you know the, the tests that they bring and the players that they have. So, um, coming down the stretch here to continue to work there in our spot, and, and obviously, uh, it's that time of year that that style of hockey. So, it was uh, you know real good, uh, real good game by us. Obviously, we just got to try to stay out of the box in the third period, but uh, uh, all in all, really good game. Well, I, I think you know they're going to have the puck at times, and you're going to have to check and defend. And I think just uh, we talked a lot about defending in layers, um, and obviously just being really good throughout the neutral zone. Uh, how you manage the puck, and, and obviously trying to be above, creating those layers. And, and you know, even they're going to come at you with speed, they're going to make some plays. Um, nothing's clean, and um, you know you have the ability um, to use those layers just to uh, be insulated, uh, take away second and third opportunities, and, and obviously uh, slow down their speed and, and open the ice up. Yeah, just um, just the attitude that he plays with. Um, you know, he's got a great skill set uh, at both ends of the ice, but certainly just the way he stands his ground, the physical nature of his game. You know, he really thrives on it and embraces it. So, um, you know, he's really stepped up for us in, in that way. I think really all season, and since he's come here. Uh, but you know, especially a night like tonight, he he uh, uh, clearly made an emphasis and, and set the tone for the group. Sam, he's been so good the last few months. He really did tonight. Remind you, see him the game. Yeah, we you know you hate seeing it, so just hope it's nothing major or serious, and, and he'll bounce back quickly. So, but uh, you know he was he was fantastic again tonight for us, and, and uh, you know just like I said, hopefully it's 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 not too bad. Lots of talk about McDavid, Matthews coming in, the depth guys combined for four goals. Just talk about Bobby and Pontus. Yeah, I mean, I mean rightfully so. Uh, it's obviously a great matchup and um, two very special players, but uh, I, I think. You know, for everyone, it's a fun atmosphere to play in, a great game to play in, and um, to go out there and, and, and play well, and enjoy it, understand the challenge, and um, you know the way both those guys have played. Um, their games have kind of grown throughout all year, and the impacts they're making on the score sheet, uh, let, let alone all different areas that they're they're uh, helping the group, has been fantastic. So it's great to see, and, and uh, especially on this stage. Any news on Sammy? Looks like he's going to be fine. Yeah. Sense for what happened? I do. <laughs> he got injured, and it's not it's not anything near what it appeared or what I thought it, it, it might have been. I, I'm not going to give you too many details right now, but it looks like he'll be he'll be fine and won't miss any time. What allowed you guys to? Uh, I know you made the switch pretty quickly on Tavares with McDavid and that show. What do you allow you guys to really shut that line down for the most part and take that lead that you did? Uh, I, I thought that uh, I thought we, our guys just competed hard tonight. You know, I, I thought we played with lots of attitude. Um, you know, I really thought that our defense, you know, in particular Edmondson and McCabe, I thought really set the tone for our team here tonight. 
uh, just how they competed. And our penalty kill gave us life in, in the in the game. And that first period, special teams, uh, we've been talking lots about that. And I'm sure it'll come up again here is the third period. But we're, we're not in the position that we are. Um, was vibrating here, but um, not in that in the position we are if we don't we don't get it done uh, um, in the first period this, with the kills, especially the first one. You know they get it right away uh, to start the game, and here you are. You know you gotta you gotta face that challenge. So for us to find our way through that, and then the second one, um, and our power play comes through. That was a huge moment in the game. Yeah, both guys were, you know, were terrific tonight. Uh, obviously, I, I, I felt Holmberg, you know, had some good things going on, which is why I moved him up to play with play with Austin, and that paid dividends right away. Um, but uh, he was just good all game, and second goal is another another great goal and great finish by him. Bobby's, you know, as we know, has been excellent here, and and uh, you know he's he finished with some great plays uh, again tonight. But I thought. Through that the lineup, I just thought we had great efforts, you know, from from everybody all the way through. Uh, John made some, you know, terrific plays. Uh, a play on the first goal, on Bobby's first goal, to get a start in the game. That's a terrific play by him. Austin uh, to set up Holmberg's first goal there to get the puck to Max, coming off the forecheck. Like that's Tavares and, and Matthews doing things off the forecheck, you know, to get us to get us going here. Someone's really popular tonight. Um, um, but uh, it, it, uh, it was great, you know, to see those guys come through in those types of moments, and then other guys do, you know, finish the plays and, and score the goals. Uh, but like, like I was talking about, the, the efforts from our defense to to set the tone for us here tonight in our penalty killing, I thought was was really great. And, and you know, because of that, you're able to build a big enough lead that they don't have enough time on the clock to, you know, to to, to come back completely. Yeah, I did. I did. You know, I thought it was Edmondson won. Uh, McCabe had one, I think, on Kane uh, as well. But ju just it was. It wasn't even just the contacts. It, it was the the level of competitiveness on the puck, like the battles uh, to come up with the pucks. A lot of that on the penalty kill, uh, face-off scrums, all those kind of things where we're coming up with pucks, and that's that's what we need. Where you know when we make those decisions to play that way and compete like that. Uh, you know, we're a hard, we're a hard team to beat, and we're, and we're capable of great things. And you know, if efforts like that bring up the group, and then you can, you can uh, get by without, you know, without some key people, and, and that's that's what you want to see. John, John's offense has uh, picked up uh, lately. Is that just puck luck things going his way, or do you notice something different about the way he's been playing? I think he's just been focusing on the things, the things that help our team win games, and the offense comes with it. I just I talked about the four, like the game starts tonight where he. Retrieves a puck on the forecheck, sees a play over his shoulder, executes the play, but it's a forecheck puck. He's doing his job in that moment, and, and, then, the, and then his skill you know, to make a play is there. He's just playing hard. Uh, he's consistent. Um, you know, I was really kind of going back and forth between Matthews and Tavares in my mind of how I was going to handle that matchup tonight with McDavid. I really thought it was going to be a, a committee approach with Camp's line in there as well, just because they play so much and the pace and the nature of our lineup tonight. But uh, quickly, I just I thought that Tavares group with Bobby and Will, um, you know, could, could really do the job for us, and, and they did. Um, so it's those type of efforts, and then offense comes. You know, chances come when you're above the puck and you're checking, and, uh, and, and John's John's elite at winning pucks back, and and uh, you know, scoring is a hot and cold type of thing. And he's got lots of confidence, and he's rolling and, and making plays, but it's coming through doing the right things as our captain to help our team win games.